Hello everyone, this is Sharon here from 24-7 Techie and I actually started this channel 4-5 to five years ago for ROM videos. I really like ROM customization and not a lot of people were making ROM videos at that time. A lot of ROMs were coming in. I started off with Xiaomi Mi 3 then made a lot of videos about Redmi 1S and Redmi 2 and a lot of other phones as well. So a lot of customization was available at that time. A lot of ROMs were coming in as well but now not a lot. But there are still some really interesting things coming in and that's what I will do now. So in 2020 when 24-7 Tech is back, the ROM videos are back and we will start off with Redmi Note 8 Pro Pixel Experience ROM. Let's get started. Oh, before I forgot, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and that bell as well. That might help us. Thank you very much and let's get started. So we have a Redmi Note 8 Pro here and I've already booted it up in the custom recovery. And I will leave all the XDA links in the description from where you can download and install everything from there. So what we will do is do a clean flash. So first we will go to wipe. Then factory reset. Home. Then we will go to install. There is one vendor image that we need to install before the normal custom ROM. So vendor image. We will select the vendor image, it's already selected and installed. So I've already done this method so that's why it's showing over here. Home, install. Now we will install the normal ROM and just swipe to flash, nothing more. It will take a couple of minutes so I'll return when it's done. So once the process is finished, we will just wipe this cache again. It's not necessary, just a precautionary measure and reboot system. It will take a couple of minutes, do not panic. If it takes more than 10 minutes, then you should panic. So I'll quickly finish the setup and show you guys what all is working and what all is not. So once the setup is done, this is what the phone is. So it is Pixel ROM, so everything stock Android. Not a lot of customization, except for what Google allows us. A little bit customization. It is running on Android 10. I guess February security patch, yep. So double tap for lock button and the camera opens up. It is right now stock uh, Google camera or the old Google camera. This is my current setup. The other cameras are not working, only the primary camera. And I did try Google camera mode as well on this one. So primary camera was working and none other front camera and primary camera. So, so hopefully that support is coming. So dark mode is here. So the voice recorder works perfectly fine. Let's get started. Don't forget to hit the bell icon guys. It is pretty important. Hey guys, this is for Sharun from 24-7 Techie. Yeah, I didn't think that it will <laughs> pick up 24-7. Yeah. So yeah, the recorder is working very well. So there are a lot of things working that I just showed you guys, but there are some things that are not working. I will leave the screenshot of all the bugs and everything in front of you guys. So you can have a look. I still do think that this ROM is still not daily friendly. So thank you very much for watching. And this was my ROM review after a long time. <laughs> and it was fun uh, to say the least. It was back to the old days, back to the old roots. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you haven't already and please subscribe guys. That will help us. You might see better content as well. As more and more subscriber comes, I'll get more and more encouragement towards experimenting. So yeah, please do subscribe, share and like. So thank you very much. And uh, this is Sean from 24-7 Techie signing off and I will see you in my next one. See ya.